Namibia's main beef export markets are mainly China, Norway, European Union and the U.S. Despite the outbreak of COVID-19, these countries continue to import Namibia's beef as most of their abattoirs are closed due to the pandemic. The country's major beef producer made sure that beef is available at all times to international clients. In some of the countries like the U.S., uh, which were hardly hit by COVID-19, their meat processing plants closed. So they experienced some deficit in terms of food supply. So the demand for meat from Namibia, uh, meat in specific, specifically, remained very high. So our logistical routes remained competitive and open. We could still export both through Valvis Bay into China, into Norway, into the U.S., and we could still export through uh, Cape Town. Uh, through Table tab Bay to make sure that uh, our products, they, they reach the, the final destination. So as an institution, uh, we are optimistic that uh, with the systems we have and the processes, uh, we will still remain competitive. Following last year's crunching drought, many livestock owners sold their animals to Midco for slaughter as a way of destocking. The quantity was high, but poor quality due to the drought. So it affected our ability to generate uh, better projected earnings, but we did in terms of the, 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 the quality. Mushoko Vanja, however, fears that export beef availability might reduce as farmers did not restock enough after the drought. This is going to definitely be a tough year because the throughput has been very low. So some of the strategies we did, the throughput is very low because farmers uh, destocked in bigger numbers last year. So in the first quarter of the year, really the emphasis is more on restocking, uh, rebuilding the head, uh, preparing it for, for production. So uh, we, we are going to have a challenge in terms of our throughput, but we have put in some strategic measures. He is, however, adamant that Midco will continue to meet its export demand to its international clients. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Venduk.